Okay, everyone, it's Anahata. How are you? So I have been thinking about this for a while. And in fact, as I recall just how far back uh, it goes, you know, it's been at least a decade since I first started asking, you know, what is dis-ease? What is the cause of any uh, physical issue, mental issue, emotional issue, any um, anything that's going quote unquote wrong. What is the cause of that? And uh, it's one thing, and that is separation. That is becoming offline. It's division. And uh, so then, what is the solution? The solution is unity. So I just wanted to talk to you all today about unity and the power of unity and what unity really is on a physical level, mental level, emotional level, and of course, spiritual level. And I do believe that it's the solution. And I also believe this is why everyone is trying to separate, not everyone, the powers that be. And I apologize, it's really bright, so I, I have to leave my uh, sunglasses on. Um, but let's, let's think about physical issues and the fact that any type of issue you're having is simply um, a lack of communication. Something uh, isn't communicating correctly anymore. And that is why you get, you know, old even. We have cells that copy and then um, it's lost in translation over time. They, they lose their ability to communicate. And so it's the same thing with um, any issue you have with your prana. Prana flow means that you are going to be sustained. You're going to remain online. You're going to um, thrive. The prana is flowing. The energy and information is flowing. And so when there's a breakdown of any prana, it's due to, hey Sharon, how are you? Due to stagnation. And what that is, is a, a block, a, a lack of communication. So again, it comes, circles back around to this, this solution, which is the solution for all things, which is unity. And I really believe that. And so I think this is why I love um, the element of water so much because water is cohesion it's unification it is um, in Chinese medicine the emotional layer because uh, we magnetize in our bodies in two ways electro electrically and magnetically electromagnetic beacons that's what we are and so energy and information coming out and pulling it in and rotating around in that Taurus flow. And so when something is obstructing that energy, they say that your chakras are either, uh, you know, blown out or, or not flowing. And so again, I think this all comes down to uh, optimizing our body's ability to communicate. That's what old age is. It gets lost in translation as your cells duplicate again and again and again and it's a little less clear. Um, this is what happens when you feel um, emotionally uh, upset. There's a disconnection to uh, that peaceful feeling. It's a feeling of separation. Same thing mentally. If you are separated, you aren't getting the big picture. You're in one little spectrum of looping again and again. So again, it comes down to unity is the solution for all optimization. And that means getting online again. Um, and this is also why I think the uh, nefarious powers that be that are um, wanting to divide and conquer are using fear because fear is a major separator it blocks you off 
And also, uh, we have lost our own innate ability to remember in our modern era of specialization, which is segmentation again. It's the opposite of unity. You go to a doctor and they tell you what you need instead of you listening to your own uh, innate ability to heal and to um, use common sense with the things you put inside your body. And, um, you know, to the extreme that uh, GMO in, in foods and the chemicals they put in foods are designed to do one thing, stop the flow of communication. That's what it is. And so it all comes back to unity, unification. What is the um, most whole uh, way to achieve this unification? Um, obviously nature. Nature is whole already and innately perfect. So the more we, we mess with that, mess with our, our, our own body's ability to um, stay online through chemicals, through GMO, through these um, nonsensical uh, injections that they're all telling us we need, which do doesn't make a lick of sense. They're all designed to chemtrails, everything. It's all designed to detach you from your innate ability to, I'm sorry, I'm hoping this isn't ending. It's very, very, uh, it looks really faint. Anyway, I'll just keep going here for a few more minutes, but the, the, the key here is fear separates, it divides, it confuses, it takes you offline. And we're being bombarded with that mentally, physically, and emotionally. So now is the time to um, get back online with your, with your innate ability to connect. And I, I think we should do this through zooming out to the fact that we are super conscious beings experiencing our little realities within our physical bodies. And when we can zoom out, we can access divine information, limitless information. We can ask for the upgrades that are innately ours and that are our birthright and that are us. And so um, encouraging you to uh, unify your mind, body, and soul. One way of unifying your physicality is through uh, structuring your water. You, you know, drinking blessed water, getting all of the energy and information to flow in over 70% of your body's anatomy is going to help you so, so, so much. Um, but not just on a physical level, but on an emotional level and a spiritual level and a mental level as well. So if I were to give you advice on how to optimize your body into uh, ultimate communication so that you, you stay online and that your body is alkaline and so that your emotions are alkaline and so that your mind is alkaline. What does that mean? It means it's balanced. It's not acidic. It's not eroding. It's not um, separating, dividing. It is unifying. It's balming. It's encapsulating. Um, and we can do this with structuring our water. We can also do this by getting our three minds on the same page. So we have three brains. I did, I um, <laughs> stubbed my, ooh, my finger this morning badly. Uh, I just rammed it straight into um, some wood as I was trying to catch something that was falling. Ouch. Anyway, uh, interestingly enough, the, the, the digit, the, the finger, specifically the digit, is about fear, you know? And we, we are just being bombarded with this divide mentality, with this separation, with this you don't know, I do type of mentality. You need this. We know what's best. Um, you know, and the science is pointing to absolutely this is... Um, Oh, 
I hope I'm wrong. I hope we're all wrong. You know, the conspiracists, however you want to call whatever you want to say about us, it's hilarious. We're the truth seekers. We're the ones who have actually um, done the work on our own to sort out our mental, emotional, physical well-being, what we stand for. Uh, we've unified. We've connected into our divine consciousness. We've gotten um, clear on the roots. Uh, we've, we've taken a loving look at our uh, shadow self. And without blame, we embrace it. We unify. And so, you know, you can call me a conspiracist, but I believe that um, uh, organic is best. You know, I'm not going to, I don't use chemicals. You know, I try to avoid them. They're sort of everywhere. But uh, so why would I inject my body with that? You know, it makes no sense. And it's certainly no one can tell me to. Um, but now they're finding, uh, scientists are finding all sorts of uh, harmful, very harmful um, things inside of these so-called VA CCINES. I just don't want this video to get flagged, so I'm not going to talk about that. But y you can read between the lines. Since when does exercise, eating well, connecting with people, de-stressing, thinking for yourself, moving your body, exercising, since when is that not recommended? Taking supplements that are no longer in the food systems because they've taken them all out, they've GMO'd them all out. I mean, guys, it, it's, it's getting sort of stupid, and uh, I hate to say that, but People need to wake up and think for themselves. <laughs> people need to, it's really hot. Uh, people need to um, remember their wholeness. And if you look at the, the root of the word healing, the, the root of that word simply means a return to the memory of wholeness. And that's what we need to do. We, re, we need to remember that we aren't separate, that we are divine beings in physical bodies that we've been coded with superior ways to protect us already, that we need not listen to the people that say they know this and the, that and the other. I'm sorry, but if you actually look at the data, this is the disturbing thing. The people who are now in hospitals and dying and things like that with this supposed virus, which is a whole different topic. I could go on about that, I won't. Um, are those that have been jabbed. So, you know, this, this, and this cognitive dissonance and this gaslighting that's happening, uh, and, and now we're at 75% have taken, have drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Whoa, how did that happen? How did that happen? Well, it happened through separation, through giving your power away, through through trusting people that should not be trusted with your life. Now, I'm, I'm a Pisces times three. I'm psychic. Uh, all along, I knew that, this, that I was like, huh, no. My body tells me there's nothing to fear if I remain um, centered, uh, if I support my immune system, if I do activities that, you know, vitamin D, exercise, eating well, drinking blessed water. Um, and so I, I've never been afraid of this from the very beginning. Um, I got COVID or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it lasted two days. And that was it. So again, uh, it's real. I'm not saying this is all made up. I'm saying what we've been told to prevent it and to treat it is a bunch of lies and all you have to do is follow the money. Follow the money, who, who's getting rich, who has patents, and who are you giving your health away to? Uh, and, and, you know, simple, simple uh, ways to keep healthy. Um, and it all involves unity. So again, unify. Don't separate. And if you look at what they're doing, it's all about separation. You have to be six feet away. We have to cover our faces. We can't communicate with each other. We're being censored, right? Uh, and that's just on a physical level. 
but separating you from the truth, uh, preventing research and sound science from getting to people who need it before you can make your own decision. You know, um, this will go down in history as one of the biggest um, coerc coercive schemes. Uh, and, you know, I just hope we're all wrong. The, the scientists are finding uh, the ingredients inside these jabs to be um, catastrophic to your health. And of course, they'll say it's a, it's a variant, you know, as, as all of the people, you know, we need more boosters or whatever. But anyway, now's the time, guys. Wake up. Stop listening to what they're feeding you. Unplug from the media. Use your brain. Use your heart. Connect. Connect. Do things that will support your pineal gland. You're already connected to all things. So, for goodness sakes, tap in, tune in. Don't be afraid. Stop listening to anyone who is telling you to be fearful. There's nothing to be fearful about. We are all gonna die one day. Yes, we are. And that is okay. We're, we transform into the next iteration of our energy. We need to get okay with our mind, body, and soul. We need to unify. We need to come together. If you're watching this and you want to join me, I am uh, doing several things to support the, the unification of the planet. I'm doing grid work. I work with water. Um, I teach you how to bless your water. And um, we can do this together. Thankfully, uh, there are ways to communicate um, without approval, right? No one can tell us. Uh, where we, what we can do in terms of communication with each other, um, despite their best attempts. Everyone is waking up in droves and it's so exciting. So do educate yourself, um, do things that center your energy, that unify your energy, that bring back your power, that return you to the memory of wholeness. That's what healing is. You can do it mind, body, soul. Um, but it takes that awareness to know that um, the, the fear, the lies, the manipulation, they're all designed to separate and uh, confuse and to have you give your power away to someone that supposedly knows more than you. Um, I'm not a molecular scientist, but I know how to keep my body um, optimized through common sense and through things that um, bring peace and flow. And um, we have it all, guys. We have it all. We just need to tap back in and remember. So follow me, like, whatever you want to do, share. Um, I, I have several things going on. Uh, one is the um, Water Bending Rocks technology, waterbendingrocks.com. I teach you how to infuse uh, energy and information into uh, quartz crystals and put them under your tongue and do a scanning process. And then you place those spheres in water and it sings that information to the water that is blessed, that is actually H3O2 that carries uh, sacred geometry. So I'm gonna be holding uh, workshops about, about that and um, doing a master class. That's just one part of it. The other thing I do is I help you to remember your wholeness through aligning mind, body, soul with, with um, your consciousness, your super conscious, and your subconscious. So you have three brains and they're all pulling. And if you can align them into one center panel, uh, you'll, you'll become su super conscious and you'll be able to live um, an autotelic life which is joy of the journey at complete peace transcendent of the chaos around you and as an alchemist which you already are to be able to magnetize and be um, you know masterful with earth air water 
ether, fire, using the elements to support you, and then to grid the planet um, with that energy and information to share the wisdom, to get more people to remember uh, you know, what we're doing here. This is the age of, a, of enlightenment. We're coming out of that phase of suppression, of, even though it looks like we're going into it. No, we're not. We're coming out of it. Everyone's coming out of that sleep state. And we are remembering who we are. And unfortunately, um, you know, they're grasping at straws to try and take down as many people as possible to maintain control, but it's not working. It's actually going in the opposite. Uh, it's having the effect of awakening. And so it's perfect. It's amazing. Um, but educate yourself, guys, uh, and unify. Unify together. Unify via whole uh, and healthy foods and ways of living. Unify via processing and not being afraid of your emotions your electromagnetic energy, unify through integrating those shadow elements and taking a loving look at all aspects of what's going on, unify through dropping the ego, unify, support people who are teaching people to remember. There is no such thing as competition. Um, we, we all need to remember together. And so reach out, let's, let's do this together, let's do something together to get people to remember. Bless your water. Get your three brains on board. And I love you all so much. Unify, unify. We are Gaia. All right, guys. Much love. I'll put a few links in here. You know, you can uh, friend me. You can uh, follow me. You can go to my YouTube channel. I have uh, many free resources, including uh, the Anahata codes themselves waterbendingrocks.com, anahatacodes.com, mega-morphosis.com, and we'll do this together. Love you guys so much. Mwah. Have a good day. Unify. Bye for now.